In the year 1962, the United States found itself in the throes of the space race with the Soviet Union. The successful launch of the Sputnik satellite by the USSR had filled the nation with a sense of nervous anticipation. Yet in the city of Seattle, the atmosphere pulsed with a different kind of anticipation. The city on the cusp of hosting the Century 21 World's Fair was all set to unveil a marvel of its own, the Space Needle. The World's Fair of 1962, an exposition of technological wonders and modern entertainment, bore the theme, Man in the 21st Century. The focus was on science and the future, a theme that was not just a whimsical choice. The U.S. government had promised Seattle federal funding to the tune of $9 million, provided the event emphasized technological innovation. The World's Fair was seen as a means to restore national optimism, and the Space Needle was destined to become the crowning jewel of this American showcase of power and innovation. The fair's organizers wished for the architecture of the fairgrounds to exude a sense of the modern and the futuristic. They needed a central attraction that was truly awe-inspiring. It was Edward Carlson, the Expo's chairman, who conceived the first iteration of what he called a Space Needle, inspired by a broadcast tower he had seen in Stuttgart, Germany. The design of the Space Needle underwent numerous changes, especially concerning the shape of the tower's base. Architect Victor Steinbruck proposed the three-legged design with an indented waist, inspired by an abstract statue named the Feminine One. The disc-like shape at the top, however, remained constant, a design choice by Chief Architect John Graham Jr., who wished for the top of the Space Needle to evoke the image of a spacecraft. The construction of the Space Needle was a feat in itself. Built in a record-breaking 400 days, it was affectionately dubbed the 400-Day Wonder. Its paint scheme was aptly space-themed, featuring shades of astronaut white, orbital olive, re-entry red, and galaxy gold. It boasted a rotating restaurant that offered panoramic views of the city and a flaming natural gas torch burned at its top. Over the years, the Space Needle has undergone several changes. It has been repainted for different occasions and has seen major renovations. It now boasts two floor-to-ceiling glass observation decks and the world's only glass rotating floor. Today, the Space Needle is more than just an architectural wonder. It has become an emblem of Seattle, an icon that has been immortalized in popular culture, featuring in TV shows and movies like Frasier, Grey's Anatomy, and Sleepless in Seattle. In the year 1999, it was named a historic landmark by the city. The Space Needle, born out of a race to conquer the unknown realms of space, has itself become a beacon of American history and culture. It stands as a testament to a time of innovation and optimism, a symbol of American power and technological prowess.